Hello, this is Kevin De Silva here with Douglas Elliman, and we are doing our virtual open house tour of 5151 Russo Street in Culver City, California. Now, we are listed at a million three hundred thousand, and in Culver City, it gives you three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a separate office, and a lot of upgrades. So, I'm actually going to be hosting this with the owner himself to discuss a number of the upgrades that he's done since buying the home and the quality and workmanship that has gone into this beautiful place. Um, I will say personally, my favorite parts of the home are behind me. He's on a 6,000 square foot lot. He's got over 1,600 square feet in the front house. And he has another uh, roughly about 300 square feet in the back office detached so for anybody who's thinking about you know that balancing the work life aspect needing a little separate space for your uh your new office look no further um, now client and home seller has actually uh you know made his career in doing low voltage for those of you who do not know there's phone lines uh digital media through walls uh, so this home is actually completely wired for any of today's uses. Uh, now we only have a little bit of time because we do have some more showings coming, but I wanted to get started. And if you have any questions you wanna ask the owner himself, comment below and we will make sure to get them answered on this feed. So with no further ado, I'd like to invite Bill front and center. Bill. How are you? I'm hey, doing very well. So I want to thank you for having us at the house, by the way. You're and, welcome. And for doing this tour. And, and I got to ask you, you've done an amazing job in remodeling at home. What was it like when you first got it? Um, well, uh, when I first got it, the <laughs> floors were uh, very interesting. There was a carpet on the floor. And so one of the first things I did was replace the carpets because they were quite aged. When I did replace the carpet, I found two additional layers of tile, uh, like linoleum tile underneath. Yeah. So uh, it was unexpected when it came to removing, but it was not a big deal. So yeah. all the tile and everything was removed down to the bottom. Um, and, and then I put the, the wood floor on top of that. Okay. Well, now you've done a lot of upgrades since buying the home. And the wood floors was the very first thing you did. It's a coconut laminated wood floor. And it's really a cool floor, I think. Uh, I've never seen coconut before. Uh, I have an additional about 500 square feet of floor under storage in my under the stairs. Yeah. So for any repairs or whatever, if there was any, uh, there's additional wood. Okay. Now, in your location, obviously windows add a lot of insulation for any noise factors, any environmental factors like weather, you know, just warmth. Yes. Um, old single pane windows don't really insulate the home very well. Did you install these yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, I come yeah, I, well, <laughs> you hired somebody to do it for you. Uh, the house is, uh, I believe seventies, somewhere in the seventies it was built. And back in those days, everything was a uh, single pane aluminum frame yeah. windows. And this house was no different. Yeah. So again, one of the first things I did was I replaced all the doors uh, the sliding doors and the windows on first and second floors yeah. with these double pane uh, windows. Yeah. And uh, when the windows and all the doors are closed, it's quite, quite, very quiet, and uh, you're very much alone. And, and just like uh, that, you can't even. Environment. And just like that, you can't even hear the outside that's, anymore. That's right. <laughs> now, so, this is—is is this your most recent remodel? Uh, yes. Just about six months ago, we put in Whew. a uh, marble floor. Uh, it's uh, it's a Home Depot tile, so there's plenty of it if you wanted to extend it. And I probably should have extended it into the foyer, but um, this is uh, this is really. I took out the wood. The wood was in there before, yeah. and I took it out and I put this in just because I felt it needed more waterproofing. More waterproofing. Got it. And as far as I mean, these appliances don't look very old at all. So when uh, when this uh, again when I came in, uh, if you oh, yes. look this way, 
this here was a very small doorway. No, no. So I <laughs> the doorway, I went up all the way, yeah. and so now you got elbow room when you're coming through. The oven was over there, uh, along with the stove, so it was like a stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type. It's very common. And the refrigerator was over here, and this was a very small pantry that needed rescuing. So we moved the refrigerator over here. Yeah. Um, I, I really like built-ins like this. So, and I wanted a wolf uh, 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 um, countertop. So we've got a microwave, you got uh, uh, the oven, uh, I got some uh, cookies in there right now. Yeah. Uh, the dishwasher, all the uh, count, um, uh, count, uh, cabinets and everything were uh, made in Washington without formaldehyde. So they're green oriented. Wow. And they're very safe to breathe and all that uh, nowadays. Yeah. Um, so I got these glass knobs that were very, are very unique. Uh, the wolf stove is a great gas stove. Uh, gas is the best way to cook. I have a question. What kind of wood is the, are these cabinets? Uh, uh, I want to say uh, a maple, I believe. Maple? Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also... Uh, yeah. Originally, this was tubes. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the neon tubes. The so how those were removed. We got rid of the plastic and we framed it out. Yeah. And then, not only that, but if you do that, and I put in, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I put an accent rope light up there. So, it, oh. it, you know, it's, it's dark, you know, you want to keep everything dim and you want to come in for a glass of water, but you don't need bright lights on. So I had this rope light in there just to give it the proper ambiance for this. Can't time. see it right now, but I think if I get up here. Yeah, now you can see it. See? Yeah. There it is. And and so you moved the pantry, looks like, over here. I did. Uh, this here, look at the room this gives me. This was unused space, really, the way I see it. You don't need four feet. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to bring this out too far. Yeah. So I put the pantry here. Look how deep it is. It's such a great pantry. You got quite the collection. It's quite. <laughs> it's much better. So, uh, uh, but everything, all the drawers pull out. Yeah, yeah. And so oh, it's a great pantry. So, I mean, one thing I like, uh, you know, especially for the cooler months, you have a lot of fireplaces. You didn't install any of them, right? There's four fireplaces here. It's kind of funny. Oh, oh. these are right. Let me pull them out. <laughs> so, yes, there are four fireplaces, and, uh, you know, I didn't really get to feature it too much. So, while he's getting the cookies, you know, you, you walk in from here, and you come in, and the, the living room, dining room is right off your left. As you enter, there's a fireplace right there. Uh, obviously, Bill loves wood and solid wood. These are these aren't like plywood, are they? What's this? These are like uh, solid. These are, these are uh, these are solid wood made by a craftsman individually, measured uh, directly for the spaces that I wanted. Yeah. There's this one, and there's two up front. Yeah, those ones. For those the ones are great as well. So, and then as you come in from the foyer, the front door, you know, you move to the right, the kitchen's in between, and you have your family room with another fireplace and these built-ins. These are gas fireplaces, but I burn wood in them as well. Yeah, yeah. I use the gas to help get everything started. All right. I, now, they don't want me to use gasoline anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say that you put a lot of care in your backyard. I know we're going to go upstairs next, but, uh, well, after this, can you... Take me through the backyard. I mean, you've, you've done a lot of work back there. Okay, so uh, I believe you said I was told them I was a contractor. So uh, I, I had an office elsewhere. I was paying lots and lots of money. Uh, I had twins. I raised my family here, a boy and a girl. Um, and uh, uh, so I moved. I, when I found this house, uh, I realized that this is perfect for me. It's got my office space. It's got my, the space for my children. For, uh, it's got everything I needed. Mm -hmm. So outside is my office space, which I'll show you. And yeah. I think you'll, you'll, you know, it's yeah. perfect. Um, I also use this room for a desk as well. Oh yeah, so there was one here. We moved it. Desk here. Uh, so for an additional uh, representative, so it can be. This is a room that you can use for many different things. Yeah. Family room, whatever. But let's go outside, and I'll show you what I've done. So did you build that office? No, the office was here. Is on. I was told it was done with a permit. What? Because uh, the these were, I mean, these are now the thing, you uh, know. Well, this here could easily, it's an, it's an office. I use it as an office, but it could be easily turned into an ADU. 
Yeah. Obviously, I have power here. I have water on the outside over here. Yeah. Um, and sewer is sewer. right there on the house, so a line could be brought over into the with relative ease. Yeah. So a kitchen, a bathroom could easily be added to this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But even if you just wanted to use it for uh, uh, um, a uh, a regular bedroom for for mother-in-law or a, a, a teenager yeah. or something that wants his privacy, you still can. Leave the side door open because there's so the, the privacy is so excellent here. I mean, I think with everybody working from home these days, uh, this, this is the ideal office. Right. So you know, you can always use the main kitchen and the downstairs bathroom. For we have a little friend. Here. Jasper, say hi. Out here, the paving stones were just installed last year as well, <laughs> and along with the paving stones, I installed a fire pit. Oh, I love gas. that. I also have a gas outlet here and a gas outlet over there, which is where I use my barbecue now. Okay. <coughs> now, for the right price, can somebody keep the barbecue? It's, uh, it's a Traeger, so it's going to cost you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you did outdoor speakers. Let's stay with the home? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I have uh, built-in speakers in the house, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, living room, five-channel. Five, uh, five I have... Uh, uh, upstairs, I have a speaker built into the bathroom so that you can listen to music while yeah. you're showering and stuff. And I included this here as a separate zone uh, for outside uh, listening. Yeah. Uh, it, one of my favorite times is to come out during the dusk, sit down, have a cigar or something, and, and listen to some great music while there's a fire on. You see there's a glass uh, a wall there and that's yeah. just for windbreak, so it's very effective. Uh, I have planted lots of fruit trees. I got you have grapes here, peaches, bananas. An avocado. The bananas haven't come in yet, so I'm not sure. If, I was told it's a banana tree, but it hasn't produced. Oh, it's a banana tree. I've seen them. And then I got avocados. I got three avocados on there now. And I oh, got hey. An orange tree with 21 oranges on it. That's <laughs> kind of cool. They're all dwarfs, so they won't be these 40-foot monstrosities. They'll be about 10 feet. Yeah. These are my... Uh, uh, 70 pound tortoises, I have two of them. Been here with me as long as the kids, uh, yeah. about 15 years, uh, 14 years. And uh, I need to get a bigger space. Yeah. An acre apiece. And so that's one of the reasons I'm moving. They're dinosaurs. <laughs> Are tortoises dinosaurs? They're pretty dang close to dinosaurs. Hey, they buddy. Changed all that much, other than size. <laughs> and gotten smaller. So, oh, he's cool. I know that you've told me this, but everybody watching isn't going to know this. But that wall is eight feet on the street side. Why are you allowed to do that when you're only allowed six feet? So, um, I want an eight foot wall, uh, and the, the reason I can get away with it is because if you go on the outside, yes, indeed, it is eight feet tall, and eight feet tall is pretty tall. Yeah. So when you're looking up, it's not that easy to scale or jump or anything like that. And that gives me great security. Now, the reason it's uh, legal is because when you come inside, the earth is two feet higher. So actually, when you're looking at the fence on the inside, it's six feet. Yeah. And uh, inspectors have said there's no problem with the fence being eight feet on the outside. There you go. <laughs> I think the concern is firemen climbing, having to get over the wall. They didn't yeah. Uh, so you told me, take me. So you said you like to go to the back corner and look at your house. I mean, it, I come over here. Okay. And I get in the corner and I just look in this direction. I see the contrast of the blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, so it's very pleasing to me. I love the color of the house. Um, yeah. And the uh, the accent and stuff. Uh, everything about the house, I feel very. Um, I, feel, I just feel really great about it because I know it's in excellent shape. Even the roof is in excellent shape. Wow. Uh, uh, I made sure that around the chimneys that there was, uh, uh, last year I put in extra caulking and stuff just yeah. to make sure the chimneys, all the pipes have extra caulking around them. The ridge, the ridge line on the roof was uh, replaced ah. just to, uh, because it was looked like it was wearing, but the other rest of the uh, tile is 40 year uh, tile. So. I've got another 30 years to go, I suppose. Oh, so you installed the roof 10 years ago? Uh, no, I just 
Uh, what I did 10 years ago was I just installed the ridge line. Okay. I up on the roof myself. Yeah, yeah. And I saw, I thought the ridge line was like looking kind of shabby. Yeah, yeah. For, for what its age was supposed to be. So um, I just replaced the ridge line itself. And, um, and it's, you know, the roof has been great ever since. There was no problems with it before. Yeah. Either. And then it, you, you've planted your own garden. I have, like your, uh, your own crops. So because I have tortoises, I had to uh, put in this uh, fence. They'd eat all uh, your strawberries. Just so to keep them out. Oh, I had yeah. to make the fence very robust. So these are strawberries. They come in. They're past season now. Delicious and all that. Okay. I also got additional garden space Whoops. over here for corn and tomatoes and asparagus and whatever other things you want to put in. I yeah, see so more strawberries. I put some netting in because the sun can be brutal. Yeah. Uh, so with the netting, it helps keep it, you know, just helps keep the sun down to a... Uh, you said you have blueberries back here, right? Uh, this one right up front. It's got that one green stalk coming up. Yeah, yeah. It's doing really well. It, it likes water. Okay. So. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Eight by eight shed back there. Oh yeah, I saw that. It stays, right? It stays. Of You're not taking it to Tennessee. Then, uh, just real quick, if you want, just a, a contractor. I needed space for tools and stuff, and as the years went on, yeah, I had probably more and more. So uh, this is what I did for renting uh, a, 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 a shed at right. six hundred dollars a month. So this saved me in three months. I got it full now, but yeah, yeah. it's quite capable. There's shelves on both sides, so it's quite capable of storage or whatever you want to use it for. And then I added on to the sides, on the side here and on the back side as well, just so you had additional uh, coverage. And mm -hmm. I, I also, when I was putting in paving stones and stuff, I put a drain in the corner yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that the water doesn't you know, come out this way. I wanted it to go out, and, it, and then it heads in that direction to the street. Yeah. yeah. I got another drain there, and I got multiple drains here. And then there's a very few houses in this neighborhood that has any uh, un uh, water, uh, high water table problems. Oh. I get it all drained off. Oh. Oh. Are you oh. below the water table here? Uh, no. No, oh. but you know, you're close because yeah. the ocean, I think, yeah. like 10 feet or 20 feet high. Okay. So I brought out a, a panel, a 60 watt, pan, a 60 amp panel out here uh, for the hot tub. Uh, I got irrigation. Hot control. tub staying? The hot tub is staying. Uh, in no disclosure, it does have a leak. Okay. So um, I'm not fixing the leak. All right. Uh, I got lighting here and controls yeah. for that. There's a bright light up there that lights up this whole area. Oh with, yeah, right up with there. With a high powered uh, LED lighting. Okay. And you've wired, so you have security cameras all over. Because it was my industry, we had some slow days, so I had my guys wire my house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, I got cameras in two places. I wanted to watch my tortoises. I wanted to just, uh, at one time I had a six foot fence and yeah. it just didn't really feel all that secure to me and stuff. So yeah. um, I did put in uh, electronic gates. This is side door to the garage with a push button on the keypad. And then this here is also the keypad. Oh, nice. So if you lock yourself out, you can still get in, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, at the time I had employees. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to give them access so I could give them different codes. And that way, if they left, I could just terminate their code without affecting others. Yeah. So we're going to step inside and we are, we're heading upstairs. So all the bedrooms are upstairs. Ooh. These are all natural cookies too, right? He, he makes them I from scratch. scratch. So we're gonna head upstairs. And one of the bedrooms, all right, so all the, one thing I love, all the bedrooms have plenty of closet space. But the one bedroom that has the most closet space, he actually uses as a gym and a flight simulator. So you fly. I have a pilot license, uh, and, uh, but I haven't flown in a while, but I do practice all the time. And it does keep me uh, informed and, 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 you know, I'm, I won't be too forgetful. Yeah. Back up. <laughs> and this is, I mean, is this not the biggest closet in the house? 
It's a great closet. closet. I mean, you can't really see it. If you check the virtual tour, and uh, just just message me for the link. If you check the virtual tour, you'll be able to see uh, all the closet space because we take shots inside there. I had an ex girlfriend and she tried taking all the closet space for ah. the children, so uh, she had to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you have your bedroom here, another closet. I mean, all the all the closets are deep. And you see, obviously, there's there's stuff in here. We've decluttered for the sale, but you know, you just see everything and then he's got all wood shutters throughout the house in many different locations but you know these windows just it's so serene in here with this so we're gonna finish off well hold on so we have the guest bathroom or the uh the hallway bathroom upstairs there's a uh a, a guest tub. yeah full tub shower there's a guest bathroom downstairs which, uh, half bath, yeah. For the, you know, for when you guess. And we have, watch, I'm gonna open this up. I like these. It, usually they swing wide open. I like that these accordion. Look how big this window is. This is such an awesome window. I have to step back to window. capture the whole window. <laughs> so we come over here. Oh my goodness. Those are San Bernardino Mountains, right? Yeah. Okay, so you got the San Bernardino Mountains. I can see uh, Santa Monica behind us. Santa Monica, yeah, Santa Monica Mountains are that way. Um, I can see. Uh, you can now see. Let's see here. We're only we're only three miles to the beach. Uh, so one of the reasons why I've been asked, you have air conditioning? No, we don't. We don't yeah. need it. We don't need it. We're three miles from the beach. You you keep windows open and the breeze. There's always a a, 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 a nice breeze. Yeah. In the winter time, it kind of stays warm. It doesn't get as cold because again we have that ocean yeah. breeze that keeps us warmer, and uh, there's a bike path nearby. So you get, you know, you just go up a couple of blocks, you catch that bike path all the way to the beach. It's very un un uninterrupted. Yeah. Uh, and the bike path goes down the canal, right? It goes. It goes down the canal, the Bologna Creek Canal, yeah. and then you can split off and head north yeah. towards uh, 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 Santa, uh, uh, Malibu. Uh, or uh, continue on all the way to the beach and then head south to uh, all the way to Kings uh, Beach. Kings Harbor? Uh, Kings Harbor. Yeah, Kings Harbor, Manhattan Beach, Beach, Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach. Beach. <laughs> all of that's accessible all by bicycle. Yeah. And then, once again, you have your master. We have a sink here. All you know, Once again, all wood cabinets. And then toilet, shower stall. And another walk-in closet. I mean, this house is just so much closet space in this entire place. We have we have somebody commenting. They love the doors. <laughs> and uh, there's more space upstairs in the attic. What? Yes. I uh, originally this was just a square. Okay. So many homes were, and yet there was this whole attic space up there. So I thought, let's uh, utilize it. So. I put these in. Yeah. I put this in myself, and then we we put lights up there, so there's lights to light it up. And okay. I brought uh, plywood up there to put on the floor, so there's plenty of additional storage up there Please. for anything that you want. Good. And, and if you have, uh, if you need a six bedroom, well. Yeah. <laughs> or a timeout room. There's plenty. Of <laughs> space. Here's a uh, linen closet space right there. So. All your linens here. Uh, they're saying they love your master door or your uh, deluxe bedroom doors. Thank you. I do too. I really do. Yeah. There was one flaw with them. What? There was no. There was no way to lock them. Oh yeah. So you check this lock. out. So my wife, uh, she wanted security when I went away at night. She kind of she likes to sleep late. Mm -hmm. uh, so she wanted to feel comfortable, uh, and so I put these electronic uh, magnets. Uh, door locks in, and so when you close the door, it's quite secured. And so, whoa, there's no, you know, you cannot open these doors at all without knowing the code or being inside. There's mm -hmm. a push, to open yeah, yeah, button. and so it's that simple. Um, and so it's given us great security and gives my wife all that security, too. 
And I'm not gonna feature it. You have to schedule to come see the house in order to see it, but there is a secret closet in the closet. So in case you have any valuables you don't want somebody to know about, you wanna put some stuff away, you wanna hide anything from your kids. California's got special uh, features <laughs> for homeowners as well. So yeah. There's so, capability. So let's just, uh, let's just say that if you wanna come schedule a showing, you want, you're interested in buying the home, then we can show you the closet within the closet. So once again, it's Kevin Silva with Douglas Solomon. I'm happy to be joined by Bill. S How do you pronounce Season. it? Season. Uh, you know, we're selling the home here at 5151 Russo. We've been getting a lot of activity. We've been on the market for about a week, and been getting a lot of activity. Uh, we have two more showings coming up in the next half hour. And uh, would you like to play some ping pong? Sure. Let's go do that. All right, you guys have a wonderful day.